It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Ravens and the Commanders next on Madden Football. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on their Beltway rivals, the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this Commanders team coming into play here today. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception. Didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. Forward. Right to the air is Jackson. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. And the return will stop right around the 25. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the completion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. So here's Washington now, an excellent field position to start things out. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, go. you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Looking to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been Let's hearing the down. mantra next man up since their Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect to use, and everyone has adopted them. Next guy up, do your best. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Sly able to put this one through. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. 
Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Third down and one. Davis Price will try to pick it up. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Holding offense. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys with much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Here's Jackson. Target to his man, likely. And they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. And he's got it. And he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman. His first touchdown on the year. And the Ravens have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agreed to. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. And I think they're going to take an extra long look at this. So they called it a touchdown originally. And this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff. And it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. they got to figure out how to get coordinated. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They'll get an injury stoppage, and it appears to be the ride on Jahan Dotson. He's the one shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Okay, so great. in Raven territory now, here's a first great. and 10 at the 41. Now an option play, and he'll keep it. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down oh, immediately. Yeah, it's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. They'll set up a throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. Big yardage that time for Washington. 41 yards. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. Here's Rodriguez now on second down. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. 
That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Eluding the pressure right. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. Sly able to put this one through. And he'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. Well, good start for him in this one here in the first quarter, and he's now 2-for-2 two two on field goals. And I know while the offensive coaches are telling their guys, hey, let's leave the kicker out of it unless it's an extra point. This could pay dividends if this game is tight down the stretch. His confidence is going to be sky high if they need him for a big-time kick. So here are the Ravens to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They'll start out here with the option left. There he goes left side. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. After one, a one point game. Seven to six. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing is Jackson. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And the Commanders will take over possession here up at the 44. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what, what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Now a second and ten. Got a man, it's Rodriguez. Dances by him. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. Now a handoff to Rodriguez. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, what they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now a play fake here on first down. Steps away. Escapes the sack. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. He stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Commanders are once again back in front. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big time arm right there. And let's face it. A lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones 
they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Jackson going to keep it running right. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. Play action. It's Jackson rolling to his left. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. Jackson and his throw is going to be incomplete and Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays yeah they get the sack on first down then they force the incomplete pass now they're just a play away from getting the football right back but it's a big play they've got to hold up and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. They'll drop to throw. He finds Bateman over the middle. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second and five. Middle, middle. Yeah, yeah. You. Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Jackson from the shotgun. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. From the 28, it's second and five. And Jackson throwing once more. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Flowers. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 19. To throw is Jackson. This is caught. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. going to wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Jackson now. He gets this one to Davis Price, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards? There's Flowers, he's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. We've been together a few years, and you know that I really ride the wave of old momentum, don't I? <laughs> yes, you do. There is a heck of a difference between being down six and possibly being up one. And right now, they've got that opportunity. No doubt. That is a big-time score and a big-time swing in momentum. Tucker with the extra point. And that will give them the lead here as we get on towards halftime. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half.
The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As we'll get you message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Golf has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking left side, and he's got him in. That's Cruz. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him the first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size? Now a diving effort right side. He's got it. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. <laughs> Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. The passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Haven't been getting much yardage out of it. And now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. He finds his man complete. That's Rodriguez. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. A 62-yard attempt. And this is good. It was really kind of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. Well, I don't know if you ever go into a game expecting to attempt a kick of 62 yards. Charles, not only attempt it, but make it one of the longest kicks that we've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever go into a game expecting to kick one of this distance, but all the better kickers, they do dream of it. And they show what they can do in practice and convince their coaches to give them a chance. That one surely paid off. Zay Flowers and his offense about to begin their next drive. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive where like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never right. happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Gets it out wide to Davis Price. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 40. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. Now Jackson being chased out left. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 17-yard line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Over the middle, connecting with Kohler. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. The 
from the gun, Jackson. Drops this underneath for Davis Price. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So the completion good for just three. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Now it's Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his third touchdown of the game, number 15 on the year. And the Ravens have moved down in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is up to five. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure... He would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that? Back now at FedEx Field. On the go. It's the Commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Ravens are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Another important fourth-quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 45 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. Now it's Jackson. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Jackson on first down, on the move to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. From the gun, it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here. Tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Jackson has his man. It's Shakir. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 29-yard line. Throwing is Jackson. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and four. 
Jackson will throw again. And he'll get this to Flowers, left side. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Davis Price gets this one out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the time. Oh, no, he lost the football. And that was picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be born dead. Only the fumble can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team. Fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Oh, no, he lost the football. And that was picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Tucker's kick is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because... It took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. Now Washington down by eight. A little under a minute to go. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. If you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the three. Timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Got a man. It's Rodriguez. And he will get out of bounds here to stop the clock, but not a huge pickup there. Six, maybe seven. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This secondary as a unit, they've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This to possibly force OT. And that is going to be incomplete. Tip they were looking for, but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late. And they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway. Once it happened, it knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So for Baltimore, the win moves him up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they'll have another road date next.